coming to a cross-legged seat. I'm a big fan of sitting up on cushions, but for Sufi Grind, I actually like to be off a cushion so you can see which you prefer. I really like my sits bones on the ground. Imagine your torso is a spoon and you're stirring the bowl of your pelvis. So as you inhale, you rock forward. I like to think of my heart like a flashlight. It's trying to shine over the left knee and then the right knee. And then I round back on my sits bones. Round the upper body, dip the chin a little bit as I come back. This is a very fluid, personal movement, so make it your own. Invitation to slow it down. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you rock back. Each time you come forward, if you choose to, you can silently think or vibrate the mantra Sat on that in-breath and Nam on the out-breath as you round back on the sits bones. Reverse direction option to kind of press into the thighs for an even deeper low back stretch as you come around so as you're leaning over to the right I like to a little bit press sometimes into the left thigh and then when I'm over the left press into the right close the eyes sat na slowly finding center take a deep breath in lift up on the pelvic floor lift the heart the gaze shoulders drop down the back notice if, if it feels like there's more coherence in your energy field even after just that short move that short practice Exhale, of course, when you need to, and just practice long, slow, deep breathing here. Finding stillness after the movement of the posture. Allowing the energy you've generated to ground down. This is where you'll use your strap or towel or shirt if you have it. Let the left leg go long and just loop whatever it is you're using around the right sole of foot. And gently extend the right leg and rebend it. And inhale. Right knee straightens, left knee bent. So stay in nap mode here. <laughs> Just now feeling and enjoying sensation along the back of the right leg. I like to think of this as like down dog lying down. Take the strap into the right hand and open the leg over to the right. Bend the left knee now, so sole of the left foot is on the ground. And you can once again bend the right knee so it comes into the armpit. And straighten and hold. Bend the knee. And right leg straightens. Watch carefully here. Keep the right leg extended, just held in your prop, however is comfortable for you. And this I find intensifies the stretch for me a little bit. Let your left knee open. So left knee falls to the ground like in a half butterfly shape. And breathe here. Mm. 
slow your breathing down if you want to bend the right knee and extend it again go for it watch the screen look carefully keeping everything as it is option again we're just playing here to take the left knee now back towards the ceiling and into like an inverse butterfly shape so now the left knee dips to the right and I like to flow through that so opening the left knee to the left butterfly shape and now finding internal rotation left knee to the right a couple times find it really just opens up the inner thigh and the right hamstring in a really delightful way bring the right leg back up to the ceiling bend the knee straighten as much as you want or as little as you want you can keep the left sole of foot on the floor deep breath and then switch legs so letting the right leg go long left foot in the strap by all means if it's more comfortable to have the right sole of foot on the floor right away you can you can do that especially if you just woke up a lot of times you know sleep makes the body stiff <laughs> sleep is great but it makes us stiff so you know meet yourself where you are Relax the face, the neck, the jaw. Bend and straighten the left knee a few times, left leg a few times. Really extend the exhalation. And strap into the left hand now, opening to the left. I use my elbow, my left elbow, like a prop. So my left leg doesn't just plop to the floor. This helps me keep both my butt cheeks on the floor and my hips facing towards the ceiling. Mm, sigh it out. Bend the right knee, right sole of foot to the floor now and butterfly shape with the right leg feel into that and if you like inverse butterfly mm, flowing between those two With the right knee in a butterfly, bend the left leg again, drawing the knee into the armpit, straighten, and then back up towards the ceiling. So left foot still in the strap, right knee towards the sky, and breathe. Beautiful. Take the foot out of the strap. Come into a moment of constructive rest. Knees touch. Slow down your breath. And visualize yourself like a little iPhone just nestled into its charging station. Receiving power, prana, healing, energy. So you're totally recharged, totally revitalized by the energy that's around your body. 
the yogis believed our body was an island in an infinite sea of energy. Each time you breathe in, expand into that creative, expansive, healing, energetic force. And each time you breathe out, feel that energy flood your spine. Inhaling into the expanse. Exhaling gold and white energy floods the spine. So that the area and energy outside the body and inside the body becomes one begins to mix. Slowly pull one knee and then the other into the chest. Roll to your right side. And come to an all fours position. Ripple through some cat cow on your own time, your own breath. I like to do some big shoulder rolls here in my cow position. And cat, I like to take my seat all the way back to my heels. Just letting this feel really good, really luxurious. And press back into down dog when you're ready. You can pedal through the legs and maybe Notice how the hamstrings are feeling. Three deep breaths here. Bend the knees deeply. Allow them to come down and touch the mat. Shift the ankles to the right and your hips to the left. Coming down into a seated position. Option to bring the palms together. Blessings and love to you. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me and being here all the way to the very end. When you're ready to stop practicing at random, to move out of the shallows and deepen your knowledge, through thematic class series, training plans, guidebooks, and Yoga Alliance approved continuing education courses, join me inside the Uplifted membership. With me and our global community, uncover the ancient wisdom of yoga in ways that are personal, practical, and powerful. And if you wanna keep watching here on YouTube, this is the class I suggest clicking on next. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.